The role of plants on our planet is very well known. They represent the 99% of the total biomass of the Earth. They represent the first step of the food chain, and so they are fundamental for the ecosystem. But despite all this evidence, plants are very often considered in the collective feeling as passive organisms. So our goal is to change this uh, feeling, this approach towards the plants and study plants, in particular plant roots, in order to develop a new hardware and software technologies. So in particular we want to develop the sensors, chemical and physical sensors, to be embedded in the artificial root for different parameters such as gravity, humidity, temperature, nitrate, phosphate, uh, potassium, sodium and touch. Touch in particular is fundamental for plants because they are able to explore environment by touching and so understanding the impedance of the soil and changing the behavior on the basis of this input that they receive. So our goal is to develop also the behavior of these roots and uh, implement the same behavior in our artificial system. So our goal is to develop this system that is uh, able in an autonomous way to find a different parameter on the basis of the stimuli received by the sensors. And this robot could be useful for many different applications. First, for environmental application, because we can change the sensor and button the, in the root, the artificial root, in order to detect, for example, heavy metals, or radon, or humidity, for example. But we can also use the robot for space application, because it's important not only for finding new uh, system or uh, living system or water in uh, different uh, planets, but also for anchoring capability that the plants have. Plants show very high plasticity, so the capability to adapt to the environment in an active way and at the same time to change the surrounding environment. So this is very interesting because we can study new behavior that we can implement in our robots that are able to grow like uh, the, the biological system. So, in fact, uh, what is very different from the uh, animals is that the plants, in order to move, have to grow. And in a different time scale, very often, even if there are also very fast movements in plants, like the, the mimosa pudica or the fly trap, but usually the time is lower. And so it's very difficult for another expert to observe this movement. But they move, in fact, and they are very efficient in exploring environment. And so we want to study this behavior in order to implement a very high level control in our robot.